At least once a season, you should take the time to replace your fuel filter, which is designed to separate water out of your fuel. The other thing you should do is use a some sort of corrosion preventative spray on your motor to keep it clean. Plus it helps in regards to minimize any rusting we'd have from regular water or salt water. The other thing with the fuel is make sure you have a fuel additive that you can treat the fuel when it's in the tank. And then this entire process when it comes to replacing the fuel filter, you wanna make sure the gaskets and stuff are clean as well as put a little oil on them so it seats everything properly. Before you can replace the fuel filter water separator, you need to locate it. So the best way to do that is find the gas line coming off the tank, follow that gas line to where that filter is. Now on some of the boats, you may have a shutoff valve on the gas line, by all means, turn that off. If you don't, that's okay. Just be aware you're gonna have a little bit of extra fuel flow possibly. Make sure you have a few extra rags on hand. You can put them down in the bottom of the boat to catch any spilt fuel. But the other thing, I like to have one underneath the filter so when I'm pulling that filter up and out of the boat, I can catch any gas that may spill out of the fuel filter. Once you locate it, then it's just a matter of taking your uh, filter wrench, slowly loosening that up. And then once you get it loose, unscrew it with your hand and then have some rags in the bottom of the boat to catch any gas that may spill. And then simply bring it up, dump the contents of the fuel filter, uh, that gas that's in there into a pan and you're ready to replace it with a new one. All right, it's time we're gonna put the new fuel filter on. Let me show you what that looks like. Right here it is. Uh, and this is an important piece of equipment. It's designed to separate any water from your fuel so you don't damage your engine. But before we put this on, we wanna make sure we oil this gasket here. That way we get a nice tight fit. So let me do that and I'll show you how simple that is. Set that down there. Just take some regular 1030, 1020, whatever you have for the, for the motor. Put that on and then run that around that gasket so you get a nice thin layer of oil on that. Next thing you wanna do is take this in and we're gonna go down into the engine compartment. Now, when you get it down here, you're kind of feeling around with your hands. Kind of center that up and it's gonna take a little bit of light work to get that threaded onto the engine. And once you do that, just take your time using your fingers, lightly thread that fuel filter on. And then once you start getting it snugged up, typically what I like to do is to get it where it's nice and firm and finish it off in a quarter to a half turn. You don't want to over tighten it or you don't want to damage the side of the fuel filter. So there, now that we got that in place, what you want to do before you start the motor up, you want to take the, the uh, ignition switch and just turn it to the on position where the motor doesn't start. What that does is activates the fuel pump and you want to do that oh, several times so you fill that fuel filter back up with fuel. So then when you go to start the motor and make sure that everything's running correctly, uh, the fuel filter is full of fuel and the engine will start properly. Now, when you're done taking care of the maintenance on the motor and getting the boat ready for storage or winterization, is use some sort of corrosion preventative spray on your motor to keep it clean. Plus, it helps in regards to minimize any rusting we'd have from regular water or salt water. The other thing you should do is fill the fuel tank up, add some sort of fuel treatment to that fuel. Now, just don't put it in the tank. Make sure if you if you're in the water still that you turn the motor over and let it go throughout the motor or put a pair of earmuffs uh, off a garden hose, a water cooling system onto the lower unit, turn on the garden hose, let water flow to the uh, motor, and then that way the fuel treatment will get throughout the motor so you're ensured the entire system has been treated with the proper fuel treatment.